Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be starting with photosynthesis, okay? This is one that you need to take your notes for, so be sure that your notes are out and open and ready to go. Before we get started, I do want to say thank you to Slides Mania. That's where I got the template for this presentation today. Okay, so let's get started with photosynthesis. This is the process where organisms produce or make their own food using um, water, carbon dioxide, and sunlight, okay? So they do need all three things to make their own food. Plants are an example of these organisms, and that's what we'll be focusing on here in seventh grade. Plants use the process of photosynthesis to create their own food. They need water, carbon dioxide, and sunlight to make their own food, okay? This is actually why plants don't have mouths, and plants also don't poop because of this process what they have is photosynthesis. So remember, humans eat for their energy, okay? Plants can't do that because they don't have mouths, which is why they make their own food. Let's investigate the different ingredients of photosynthesis. The first one, like I said, is carbon dioxide. That's a gas, okay? You'll also see it written chemically as CO2. I want you guys to take a deep breath in and let it out. What you just did is you breathed in air, your body kept the oxygen and got rid of the extra. For humans, the extra is carbon dioxide. We don't need it, so we just get rid of it by breathing out. <sighs> Plants, though, are the opposite compared to humans. Plants take in that carbon dioxide and release oxygen back into the air, okay? This is also why we care so much about plants and trees. They make oxygen for us, okay? So when you hear about things like the rainforest, that is a huge area of trees, which are plants, which do photosynthesis, which make oxygen for us. This is why we care so much about that, okay? So let's keep looking. Here's a poster. This represents a human. Now, carbon dioxide comes out of animals who breathe. Humans are animals. We're one of those examples. But this could be replaced with a dog, a bear, or any other land animal that has lungs, okay? So we breathe out carbon dioxide, the plants take it in, they do something with it. And I know they give out oxygen, okay? What we're gonna investigate is these two questions. How do plants convert or change the carbon dioxide into oxygen? What happens at this step? Also, why do plants exchange these gases? Why carbon dioxide and why oxygen, okay? So let's look here at the next ingredient. We have carbon dioxide, next is water. So for water, we know that plants have roots, right? The purpose of their roots is to gather water and then soak it up and transport it up to the plant. So notice the roots branch out in many different directions. That's because they're trying to find water in any direction that they can. Now their roots are attached to the plant so it's kind of like a highway system where the water travels up the roots into the plant, okay? They have to have water to survive. So we have carbon dioxide, we have water. Next is sunlight, okay? So just like our houses, some houses can have solar panels and that absorbs the sun's energy for power. Plants are kind of similar. Instead of spending money on solar panels, that's the purpose of leaves. So the plants use the sun's energy for power and it's their leaves that absorb that energy okay now the sun's energy is going to get a special name called radiant energy i want you to say that with me radiant energy you got it so let's look at our updated poster here remember some type of land animal with lungs is breathing out carbon dioxide the sunlight is shining down radiant energy which the leaves absorb Water is sucked up and absorbed by the roots of the plant. And then in turn, it exchanges the gases and gives us oxygen. Now, we also have this other word here, glucose. Glucose is the name of plant food. So let's look at this next slide where it's broken down. So the steps of photosynthesis, the first step is for sunlight to provide energy to plants. Sunlight has to give that radiant energy for plants in order to have energy to make their own food, okay? 
without that sun, they don't have enough energy to even do photosynthesis. Now, remember how I said that the roots have a job? They absorb the water. The leaves, their job is to absorb that sunlight, the radiant energy. Once the leaves have absorbed the radiant energy and the roots have sucked up the water, then the plant absorbs carbon dioxide. It can use all those ingredients to then do photosynthesis. The end product is two things. Plants do photosynthesis to make food. That is the reason they do it. So the first thing they make is glucose. It's plant food. It's kind of sugary, actually. So glucose is plant food. You should write that in your notes. Plants don't need oxygen. They don't make oxygen. Just like we don't make carbon dioxide, we just don't need it. So we get rid of it. The same way plants do, they get rid of that oxygen out into the atmosphere for other animals to breathe in, okay? So if I were you, in your notes, you should have photosynthesis needs sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide. You also should have that sunlight is radiant energy. The leaves absorb the radiant energy. And then they make the purpose of photosynthesis is to make plant food called glucose. If you need to, pause this video while you take your notes. So we know that leaves absorb the radiant energy from the sun, but how do they do it? So I want you to look at these two pictures. Right here is a plant without a microscope. It's a green plant. It's a leaf. That's pretty normal. Here is a plant with a microscope, okay? I want you to look at all these little boxes here. Do you see how there's all these little boxes? Okay, those are called chloroplast. It's kind of like the home. Notice how it's the box. It holds these little green dots together, okay? These little green dots are called chlorophyll, okay? Chlorophyll lives inside of a chloroplast, and every chloroplast is where photosynthesis happens. Leaves are green because of this. This green substance, chlorophyll, is what can absorb the sun's radiant energy to create into power okay you should write that in your notes too then we talked about radiant energy comes from the sun whenever the plant does photosynthesis and converts it into glucose which is food that becomes chemical energy eating food is a chemical process so it is chemical energy you should write that down too this last page has a poster and some three important highlights just in case you missed the notes, okay? So the highlights are that plants need sunlight, water, and carbon dioxide to live. The process of photosynthesis is where plants make their own food. Finally, plants take in radiant energy from the sun and they convert it into chemical energy to make their plant food called glucose. Here's a poster you can reference. You could even take a screenshot of this to save into your notes. The sun provides radiant energy, which is absorbed by the green chloroplast in plant leaves. The roots suck up water and nutrients from the ground, and the leaves take in carbon dioxide from the air. The plant does photosynthesis. It releases the extra oxygen that it doesn't need, and it makes its plant food called glucose. Make sure your notes are complete, review this video if you need to, and move on to your next assignment. See you later, guys.